your bitter, twisted lies. You may try me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I'll rise. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to Raising Consciousness. Today, this morning actually, I went downtown Ithaca to participate in the Women's March and I just want to say that we're starting off the semester right. Can I get an amen? Hey, you know? <laughs> All jokes aside, like this was so inspiring, so incredible. Here at Ithaca, there was so many people that came through. I mean, there was Planned Parenthood, there was poets, local poets, there was representatives of Ithaca College. Some of my favorite signs that I put up were, when women thrive, everyone thrives, which is so true. My life, my body, my choice. One of my biggest takeaways that happened at the Women's March was when I was in the crowd, I looked up and I saw so many people in the balcony. And I was like, oh, they're with us. Like, they're marching with us. And then I saw someone put up a Trump poster. And I immediately thought, oh, they're not with us. They're with, you know, bigotry. So I was kind of like, what what's their motive what's their intention like why are they even here but as i went closer up into the stage and i turned around again i realized that it was not what i thought it was it wasn't them supporting trump and his views it was they were with us actually some of their posters were <laughs> quite funny and quite brutal but i've heard words from trump so <laughs> just one of the things I learned from that little interaction was that, you know, you never really know a person's true intentions until you get closer with them and you talk to them and you interact, initiate that type of bond in order to really realize, you know, are they with me and my success or not, nah, you know? Shout out to everyone who got up and marched today and for people who couldn't march, I know your hearts are in it and that matters as well. Stay strong. Stay powerful, stay beautiful. It's Raising Consciousness and I'll see you later. Bye. I just got one thing to say. If you're not fighting for women's rights, then what you fighting for?